What is up guys, Chef Q here and today we are checking out a winery resort. So we are here at the Carter Estate Winery and Resort. So we are in Temecula right now. So the reason we are so early right now is 5.30 a.m. is because we booked the resort with uh, with a hot air balloon ride. So we are taking the hot air balloon ride first um, to catch the sunrise. Uh, and, and in order to prepare for that, they require us to be here by 5.20 a.m. So they advise us to dress warm and uh, and bring a hat <laughs> because it's gonna be hot on top of our head because of the flame throttle. We're going to take that hot air balloon ride and then afterward, come back and check out the place. Morning. Yeah, the shuttle's here. Ah. I guess. This is pretty, uh, this is actually not that far from uh, the resort, huh? Awesome. Each, thank yes. you. <clears throat> oh, getting back in the van with more people now. <clears throat> you see the horizon coming up. Morning. My name's Dylan, I'm gonna be your pilot as well as the chauffeur. Cool. We're gonna go ahead uh, to a location not too far from here, just down the road a little ways. Yeah, you guys excited? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, a little nervous? And scared, Fired, yep. A little bit all three. Height's, height's not my thing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forced to do this. <laughs> well, it's a pretty calming experience, you know. I get a lot of people that say that and walk away. But, Looking calming, look at the horizon. Yeah, it's all blue. Beautiful morning. Alright, so it's around 6 a.m. right now. And we are finally at the site. I'm gonna film them how they set up this thing. It's pretty cool. They say it's gonna take around 15 minutes to set up. So it's 6 o'clock right now. Let's see how long it takes, right? Okay. So basically they uh Put out these tarp on the bottom just so when the balloon takes off it won't it won't grab onto any of these like twigs and dirt and stuff on there or anything that might um rip the balloon During the flight, we got a lot of room in here today. Uh, you guys can move around, just any movement you guys make, make real slow. No sudden movements, no dancing, no bouncing, no stomping your feet. All those jarring movements we're gonna feel together and they don't feel great, so oh, nice no. and calm. I'm not saying don't move around, just take your time. All right, okay. uh, this last part we're gonna go over is our most important thing. We're gonna practice our landing position. So we're gonna pretend we're traveling in that direction. I'm gonna have everyone actually face backwards. We'll turn around and face back this way. If you look in front of you, there's some red rope handles at your waist level. You're gonna grab one of those nice and tight. You're gonna bend those knees and you're gonna lean back against the wall behind you. Alright? Perfect. Alright, you guys wanna relax and just right. let you know when I'm watching that position. We're moving! We're moving! No, I... Alright, we're 
Oh, we're up in there. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Oh. Thank you. There we go. No turning back now. Oh my. So, so how do you steer this thing? Like just by going up and down, riding the different wind layers. Yeah. Oh, so you have to know your wind, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Mm. All I can control is the wind going up and down, and then I can rotate this on our axis. So you can feel the basket spinning now. Oh, okay. And pulling on this rope here. I got a vent on the side of the balloon that I can open. Lets the heat out the side, and it spins us around. Oh, okay. So basically, you're letting heat on each side, huh? Yeah. Are we the first one up? First one up. All right. First yeah. one up. Gonna be first one land too. Okay, whatever you do, don't look straight down. <laughs> oh. See, there's another one setting up right here. Oh, there's a lot setting up. Whoa! This is all citrus. It's all oranges. Look how close we are. Oh, we pick oranges. Little rows. You see, look like a bunch of dead sticks right now. Yeah. What's the prettiest time of year? This time. Oh, is it? Everything's nice and green. Other than the vineyards, the vineyards are green when everything else is brown. Uh, oh. We're here, we made it! Oh, yeah, woo! Thank you! Pop it! Yeah! Alright, so that was a really fun experience. Right, babe? Would you do this again? <laughs> I would definitely recommend you guys uh, to do this. So right now in February, and I'm not sure because of COVID or not, but the price was $4.99 for a one night stay for two. Uh, and it includes uh, this balloon ride, the hot air balloon ride. And we live pretty close to here. Uh, so from where I'm at, it's about 50 minutes drive to here. So it's not that bad actually. All right, so we are here at Toast for breakfast. So it looks like this is in uh, a strip mall. I guess we are dining inside. Pretty nice space. They have a lot of uh, tables outside too. Yo, they even got ban mai, man. <laughs> ban mai at a, an American breakfast place. Whoa, check out my cup. Ah, uh, mine is a, um, what is it? Toasted coconut latte. Woo! We got some toasted coconut, they torched it or something right here. And a little nice heart. Look at that. I'm gonna eat this uh, coconut first. Mm. Tastes like, like coconut. <laughs> now, with a little chard. Has a little bit chard taste to it too. Pretty unique for a drink. Mmm. Mmm. This is actually really good. Wow. I can smell it from here. Very smooth. It has that coconut scent to it too. I'm sorry, I kind of ruined the um, art. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's just right. Sorry, you can't share. It's COVID. All right, so our food just got out. Wow, it smells so good. We got the biscuits. Ooh, really? Look like homemade biscuit. Wow, so check this out. Corn beef. We got some potatoes on the bottom, some Brussels sprouts, some onions, some uh, uh, red pepper, the bell peppers. Oh, let's taste the corned beef, bro. Mm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is really good corned beef. The beef is so tender. And corned beef is, is usually um, marinated and like salt, some some um, some herbs, peppercorn. And so I get that hint of peppercorn. Mmm. This is really good. How's the crab cake, babe? Excellent. Oh. Wow. 
How's it? Amazing. That looks really good too. Mmm. The potato and stuff is like cooked perfectly. It's like pan here. But it's not like crispy. Perfect tenderness. And it's not like smushed up. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Usually I don't like um, American brunch places because it's normally just what eggs, bacon, and biscuit, which is pretty easy to make, right? And a lot of times it's not as flavorful, but this place very flavorful. Definitely recommend it. Mm. Let's try my egg with this. Pour some of this tapatio sauce on top. Get me some potato in there. And some egg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a perfect bite right here. Everything in one bite. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Wow. Corned beef is amazing. Amazing. All right, let's try the crab cake benedict. Ooh, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I can definitely taste the crab. But it's just right. It's not overwhelming where you just taste the crab only. But I can taste all, all the potatoes and, and the carrots and the eggs. Mmm. Oh yeah. I give this place a 9 out of 10. Well, I'm gonna finish this and then we'll go explore Temecula, what they got here, alright? Hmm.